uh, here are the reasons why you should not buy Avantis Cologne. Oh yeah, I love this. Let's go. Okay, before I go on with the reasons on not to buy this, let me just first thank Mr. Angelo Sibum for providing me this decant of Aventus Cologne. Yeah, so let's go with reason number one. This is an oversimplified Aventus. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? It's a bad thing. All of the charming elements that were present in the EDP Aventus, the apple, the pineapple, the current or the birch they're all gone in the Ventus Cologne so what are we having here we're just having the juicy bergamot at the top and then we're left with aquatic or watery ambergris and musk at the base that's all that you're getting it is too simplified oversimplified to a fault reason number two it has a true Eau de Cologne or EDC concentration. So yeah, I'm not buying what Erwin Creed has said to Jeremy Fragrance in this interview when he said that um, it practically has the same concentration with the Avantus EDP. I'm not buying that. The performance seems to disagree with his statement. And moving on to performance, reason number three, performance of this on my skin is just two and a half hours. Imagine that, two and a half hours. It's, it's almost unusable. And then for the projection of this, first 30 minutes, yeah, we're, we're, getting, we're getting average projection from this first 30 minutes. But that projection, as it goes, it shrinks like a ball sack in the cold. So for reason number four, price to value ratio. Price to value ratio is really it's extremely poor on this one here are the prices and the creeds website for the 50 and 100 mil of avantus cologne and here are the prices for the original Audubon from avantus now i think you are better off with a 50 mil of avantus Audubon from or even 100 mil but yeah, for price to value ratio, it seems to be really poor. So it gets failing marks for me. And yes, um, I think if you're in a budget, you could go with Mont Blanc Explorer. Or, yes, you know it, it's coming. Yes, yeah, say it with me, it's club. Yeah, you know it. And even this one. So these are your alternatives if you don't want to buy Alfonso's EDP if you're tight on a budget. We do have alternatives. Now for the last one, what is the value proposition for us fans, collectors in buying this one? I'm hard pressed to give you any. Um, I think the House of Creed was trying to fill the void of uh, having this Aventus light or Avantus Ofrash, Avantus Sport. But guess what? All of the fragrances that I've mentioned before already fills up that spot. So yeah, um, they perform better, they last better. So yeah, I don't see any reason for us to purchase this Avantus Cologne. But aside from a new sticker, gray cap, it's pretty much as useful as a paperweight. And yeah, um, again, let me ask you, what is the value in this one? It's greed after all. I mean creed. And that has been my recommendation, my opinion, and my suggestion. And at the end of the day, you do you. This has been your host. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.